Hello everyone. This is a class on which I am going to tell you about oxygen therapy. As you know that oxygen therapy is the most important thing as far as intensive care management is concerned. So unless the basics of oxygen therapy is not clear to you, I think your intensive care training is not complete. So you should start from the basics of oxygen therapy, how it starts, how we take oxygen, how it is given to a patient and from there itself its uh, transport through the lungs to the blood and finally to the tissues. So oxygen therapy, it has got a few specific goals on which we will be talking today and finally at the end we will conclude with a carry home message which will be very important for you for your management of patients. So first of all, let us see what are the objectives of our this session. One is to understand the basics of oxygen therapy as I said because that is very important then what are the indications of and goals of oxygen therapy which are the conditions where you actually need oxygen therapy to understand the oxygen delivery devices because in the market there are so many devices and you have to understand which device is useful for which type of patients. So basically if you know about the devices and if you do not know how to apply to your patients again that is not the right way because you cannot choose just randomly that this is okay for my patient. You, there are selective devices for selective kind of cases. Then what are the complications associated with oxygen therapy? So these are the basic points on which we are going to cover this entire session. We start with a case. Let us see. A severe COPD patient arrives in the emergency department on a 2 liter per minute nasal cannula. His arterial blood gas results says that pH is 7.32, PaCO2 is 67 millimeters of mercury, his PO2 is 62 millimeters of mercury and bicarb is 38 millicolons per liter. Now which of the following is the most important recommendation? Out of the four, if you think their first choice is increasing the liter flow of oxygen to 4 liters per minute, maintain the current oxygen level, institute non-invasive ventilation and place on a non-rebreathing mask at 12 liters per minute. So...